All right. What do we got? The brown bootla. Okay. Now, what I do know about this plant is this is, from what I'm being told and what I've read online, this is possibly the hottest pepper uh, by far, even even hotter than the Cala, Cala, uh, Carolina Reaper. I was told that by some other people who are, you know, pepper heads uh, and are chili heads, and they know their peppers really well, and I was told by them that this is possibly uh, just as hot, if not hotter, than the uh, Carolina Reaper. But we're going to interview, you know, we're going to review um, both of them, because I'm growing both of those, so we're going to see. Uh, technically which one's hotter I don't necessarily eat peppers these type of hot peppers straight I have to eat them with food I usually cut them up with salad and I can eat them with a salad without throwing up and um, I can handle it to some degree now these are really 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 hot peppers I don't know if I can physically even handle one of these um, I'm not gonna know until I try so We'll give it a go when that time comes. But anyway, this is of the smooth stem variety. There's no fur on this at all so far. Maybe when it gets larger, it might get furry. Um, there's a lot of purpling in the stem. No flowers yet. Unfortunately, it's just starting to get little flower buds. Uh, very thick, very dominant type of plant. It's um, it's, it's, it's like a habanero type of a leaf. You can see these are very broad leaves. It's kind of like a habanero type of leaf, but it's, it's almost more or less, um, falling into, uh, like be between a habanero type of a leaf and a bell pepper type plant leaf. And bell pepper plants are very, uh, you very specific. You can really see the difference on a bell pepper. They're like a leaf almost on their own, and you'll see in later videos, um, you know, the difference between them and, and a pepper like this. But uh, I know that personally. I know that this pepper is a hot pepper, probably the world's hottest. Um, Carolina Reaper has been tested. I don't know if the bootle has been prop properly tested, but um, we're going to find out <laughs> by the end of the year. So anyway, um, this plant's roughly about, eh, it's about a little less than a foot, I think. Uh, more like 10, 11 inches, maybe pushing a foot. It's kind of leaned over. You can kind of see that it leaned over, so... Uh, this is going to be some plant to grow. You, I noticed something too with this plant. As you see the the leaves on the ends over here, they're very wavy. I noticed that on a lot of a lot of the leaves on this one. So this might be a, a identification feature to this particular variety of plant. Even a more established leaf, you could kind of see some of the edges are 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 wavy like that. You know, this is. It's very unique. I mean, it's these are curly, but once they straighten out, they'll look like, you know, that. But this leaf carries this waviness throughout the leaf, almost like it's an, a, a way to identify this plant um, from other plants. I can't say that for sure until a plant fully matures. Right now, it's just a baby. Uh, this was planted in mid-January, and we're just getting to this stage now. It's only 12 inches high, and we're in July 2nd right now, today. So, <laughs> I give you an idea on, you know, how slow of a grower this particular plant. This is a very, very long season plant. This is probably one I'm going to end up having to bring in for the winter just to get it to fruit. Because, I don't know, maybe I will get fruit out of it early this year. It's already got flowers, so... Like I said, I've been growing it since January. Um, I've read that it can take as much as 180 days to produce fruit. So, you know, I don't know how long the fruit are going to sit. You know, on some of these pepper plants, these fruits can literally sit on a plant for months before they're ready for picking. You know, even though you see the flower, you see the little pepper coming out, you might not be able to pick those peppers for a month, sometimes two months, even after you see it form that pep that little baby pepper so it could be a while i mean i might not see the i might not be pulling peppers off of this until end of august maybe september who knows even with those little flowers showing so anyway